I've got a question for you. What's the difference between the waist thing? Why, why the waist thing and not the wrist thing? So it started on the wrist, but to be honest, it just gets in the way on, on the wrist. The waist is just a bit nicer. It's a bit more out of the way. It leaves your arms for karate. <laughs> <laughs> What's really cool is that you can access spots where you otherwise couldn't kite. Like here, for example, kiting's banned in the harbour, so um, it's cool that you're able to wing it. And there's also some cool like buoys and boats to explore and ride around. So yeah, it's been really interesting riding at different spots. You've got to just go with the flow sometimes. Try different things. If you don't try it, you never know. a bit of winter weight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
like equal to like what four hours of kiting yeah it's different to be honest it's kind of like wakeboarding and I'm used to hanging on to a cable so I quite like that that physical feeling because kite foiling you don't get that same feeling like you've you know done something and exerted yourself so it's fun in that respect um, yeah it's just really cool learning something new actually I think a lot of people get into winging because they think it's going to be easier than kiting but actually I think it's harder because, you know, luckily I've got uh, experience with the foil from kiting, but if you'd have to learn to foil while winging, it's, it's going to be tricky. But it's a lot of fun though, yeah. It's cool going places where you can't kite. What's, uh, what's the deal with it? The dart looks a little bit different from some of the others. Do you know why? Is there a reason? No, I wish I could tell you, but <laughs> I can't. Because <laughs> no. no, it looks like a dart. It looks Cool, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> 